on revising so that by the time they say we go back to school, we shall be having something. Our today's lesson, we are going to look at the word far and the word long. We are look, looking at the using of the word far and the using of the word long. But before we look at those words, we shall first understand the following. One. Affirmative. Negative. And interrogative sentences. We are using the words affirmative, we are going to look at the meaning of the word affirmative, negative, and interrogative sentences. What are affirmative sentences? For us to be able to use the following words, we must understand what affirmative sentences are, what negative sentences are, and what interrogative sentences are. What we we'll begin with affirmative. The word affirmative sentence, the word affirmative itself comes from the word affirm. The word affirmative comes from the word affirm. What is to affirm? To affirm is to agree. You can say to agree. You can say to conquer. You can say to accept. So from there, what are affirmative sentences? I will say affirmative sentences affirmative sentences are sentences that agree to the statement. For those of us who are writing, affirmative sentences are sentences that agree to the statement. Affirmative sentences are sentences that agree to the statement. We have the word agree. What is to agree? To accept. When I say, for example, when I say, we are let. These are examples of affirmative sentences. We are let. Yes, you are accepting. You are agreeing that you are let. Another name for affirmative, if you want to say affirmative, if you don't want to call them affirmative, you can as well call them positive sentences. If you don't want to call them affirmative, you can as well call them positive sentences. Affirmative sentences do not have the word not in them. Because why don't they have the word not in them? They agree. If you are agreeing, you don't say no. What do you say? You say yes. But we shall not write the word yes, of course, in the sentence. We are let. That is sentence number one. Sentence number two. Command is a brilliant people. Command is a brilliant people. Command is a brilliant people. You are accepting. You are accepting that command is really brilliant. You agree. That is a positive sentence, or what we call an, affirm an affirmative sentence. Our example number three says, he goes to school, he goes to school by bus. He goes to school by bus. We are accepting affirmative sentences 
are sentences that agree to the statement. Our sentence number five, I mean number four. Number four, I am in primary six. I am in primary six. That is an affirmative sentence. Where are you sitting? Can you think of very more other affirmative sentences? Or what we call positive sentences? What are they? They are sentences that agree to the statement. Their characteristic is they don't have the word not in them. And they always end with a full stop. Affirmative sentences do not have the word not in they and they end with a full stop. That is what we call affirmative sentences. Then let's see what are negative sentences. What are negative sentences? The opposite of positive is negative. If positive sentences agree, therefore negative sentences do not agree. If positive sentences agree, therefore negative sentences do not agree. So what are positive sentences? I mean negative. Negative sentences are sentences that do not agree to the statement. The statement is what you're trying to mean. What are you trying to mean? If you say we are late, you're talking about your late coming. So that is your statement. So negative sentences are sentences that do not agree to the statement. Do not, they have the word not in they. What shows that they don't agree? They always have the word not in they. So when you read a sentence and you find that it has the word not in it, just know that that is a negative sentence. When you read a sentence, and you find that it has the word not in it, that is a negative sentence. When sentence, and you find that it doesn't have the word not in it, that is an affirmative sentence or a positive sentence. So examples of, I mean negative sentences. Let's change the other ones which we had in affirmative. We are late today. We are late today. Can you put in the word not? So what will it be? We are late today. Do you have the same sentence like mine? Mine says, we are not late today. So that is negative. Why is it called negative? Because it has the word not in it. You can as well write a note in short form. You can as well write a note in short form. And you say, aren't. We aren't late today. The apostrophe shows that there is a letter missing. Which letter is missing? That is letter O. To make which one? not. We are not late today. Our number two was Carmen is a brilliant people. Carmen is a brilliant people. Change the sentence to negative form. Carmen is a brilliant people. It's just very simple. Just a matter of putting in the word not. Then you find you change the sentence from one form to another. So, Carmen is 
not a brilliant pupil. Carmen is not a brilliant pupil. That is our example number two. Our example number three says, I'm in primary six. That was our number three. I'm in primary six. No, he goes to school by bus. He goes to school by bus. Now, when we had sentences in present, they have the helping verb. It was simple. Just a matter of adding the word not. But in sentences like he goes to school by bus, we shall make use of the modal verb does. You remember, we are looking at sentences in different tenses. So he goes to school by bus. That is present simple tense. That means we shall use the modal verb do and then say he does not go to school by bus. He does not go to school by bus. If the sentence was in past simple, for example, he went to school by bus. He went to school by bus. Then we would use the modal verb did. He did not go to school by bus. You cannot say he does not go. Already this is a past simple, I mean this is a present simple. It cannot be followed by another present simple. So the moment we say does, then we shall not say goes. We say he does not go. He did not go. Not say he didn't win. Did not go. We use one tense in one sentence. You cannot say a repetition. He didn't win. That is a repetition of the tense. So our sentence number four is I am in primary six. It will be I am not in primary six. And our sentence number five says they build houses with stones. They build houses with stones. That is past simple. So that means we shall use the modal verb did. And we say they did not build houses with stones. They did not build houses with stones. So those are the examples of negative and positive sentences. The last kind of sentences that we are going to look at are the kind, I mean the interrogative sentences. What are they? We've seen positive sentences are sentences that agree to the statement. Negative sentences are sentences that do not agree to the statement. What about interrogative sentences? Let's continue. What are interrogative sentences? What are interrogative sentences? We shall say interrogative sentences, interrogative Sentences are sentences that are in question form. Interrogative, it comes from the word interrogate. Interrogative is an adjective. The verb is interrogate. He was taken to the police for interrogation. That is a noun. Interrogation is a noun. He was taken to the police. He's being interrogated by the police, meaning that he's being asked very many questions, or he's being asked questions. 
by the police. So to interrogate is to ask. That's why we say interrogative sentences are sentences that are in question form. What is a characteristic of a question? How do you know that this is a question? They always end with a question mark. Interrogative sentences, they always end with a question mark. And they always start with the helping verbs. They always start with the helping verbs. And they end with a question mark. That is what we call interrogative sentence. From the sentences that we have, we had the positive. We are late. That is an affirmative sentence. If you are to change it to interrogative, you look at the helping verb. The helping verb is al. It is the one to begin. Al. What? We. Let. Question mark. Are we late? That is an interrogative sentence. We are late. Positive. Are we late? Ne an interrogative. We are not late. Negative. Positive, do not have the word not. Negative, have the word not. And interrogative, end with a question mark. And they always start with either a helping verb or a questioning word. Two, our sentence number two was, Kaman is a brilliant people. What is the helping verb there? Is. So we shall say, is. The helping verb is followed by the subject. Is common a brilliant people? Question mark. Is common a brilliant people? Is common a brilliant people? Yeah. Question number three was saying sentence. He goes to school by bus. He goes to school by bus. What is our helping verb there? Our helping verb is not there. So we shall use the modal verb do. In which tense is the sentence? Present simple. Which helping verb are we going to use? I mean the modal verb do. Change it to present simple, it becomes does. So we say does. He go to school by bus. Does he go to school by bus? We are now going for a short break. And when we come back, I'll give you a simple exercise of changing the sentences to different forms. Please stay tuned. Welcome back from that short break. Please ensure that you've washed your hands. You're keeping a distance. If you are in public, you're wearing a mask. I'm just, I'm just alone here. That's why I'm not putting on a mask. So, before we went for a break, we had talked about affirmative sentences, negative sentences, and then we are looking at interrogative sentences. As a reminder, and to those who have just joined us, affirmative sentences are sentences that agree to the statement. They don't have the word not in them. Yet negative sentences are sentences that do not agree to the statement. They have the word not in them. Then when we come to interrogative, there are sentences that are in questioning form. They always begin with a helping verb and end with a question mark. That is where we are. Our example number three is, I am in primary six. We are changing it to interrogative form. We are changing it to interrogative form. So our 
helping verb is am. Am I in primary six? It has to end with a question mark. When you end that sentence without a question mark, you mark yourself wrong because that sentence will be wrong. Interrogative sentences must end with question marks. Our number five says, they built houses with stones. They built houses with stones. We said it has to end with, uh, to start with a helping verb. But in this sentence, we don't have the helping verb. Yeah, but now we know the helping verbs. Helping verbs are is, was, are, where. Those help verbs that help the other verbs to change to another form. The have, the has, the where, had, is, am, it is, see. But this sentence doesn't have a helping verb. What do we do to this sentence? We shall use the modal verb do and change it to the tense this verb is in. The tense is built. So I mean that the word is built. It is in the past simple tense. What is the past simple tense form of the word did? Do. Did. Did. Then. Build. Houses. With. Stones. Did they build houses with stones? Did they build houses with stones? That is an interrogative sentence. Now, you're going to do for me a very simple exercise. A simple one. And make sure you write your answers very well. Where possible, you should already send those answers on my WhatsApp number. Change the following sentences to negative form. That is our instruction. Change the following. Try to write very fast. The following sentences to negative form. These sentences are in affirmative. So we are going to change them to negative form. Number one says, we, we shall meet him there. We shall meet him there. That is our number one. We shall meet him there. Number two says, I will take a revenge. I will take a revenge. That is our number two. Our number three says, please tell them to come in. Please tell them to come in. We are changing the sentences to negative form. Please tell them to come in. Our number four says, look can drive. Look can drive. That is our sentence number four. Then sentence number five, which I'm going to put here down, is he comes to school late. He comes He comes to school late. He comes to school late. I'm giving you only three minutes. Three. Change the negative, the, the affirmative sentences to negative form. Change the affirmative sentence to negative form. One, 
we shall meet him there. How does it become in negative? Two, I will take a revenge. I will take a revenge. How will it come in negative? Three, please tell them to come in. Please tell them to come in. Our number four, look can drive. Look can drive. And then our number five, he comes to school late. He comes to school late. Oh, I hope we are done. We must be done by now. P5, P4. I now must be very speedy in writing. Then for the P6, yeah, I think for you finished a long time ago. If you haven't finished, then you're very slow. Be very fast. Let's check on our answers. We shall meet him there. We are changing the sentences to negative. That means they must have the word not in them. If your sentence doesn't have the word not in it, then it is a wrong sentence. So, we shall not meet him there. As simple as that. We shall not meet him there. Two, I will take a revenge. I will take a revenge. I must include in the word not for me to make a negative sentence. It will be, I will not take a revenge. Full stop. Your sentence must end with a full stop. And it must start with a capital letter. I will not take a revenge. Sentence number three says, Please tell them not to come in. Please tell them not to come in. Sentence number four. Look cannot the word cannot is one word. When we are writing others does not there are two words. Are not there are two words. Will not there are two words. But cannot it is one word. Look cannot drive. Look cannot drive. And then our number five says he comes to school. We don't have a helping verb. But it is in the present simple. So we are going to change the do into present. And then we say he does not come to school late. He does not come to school late. How many people have got five out of five? Yeah, if you have five out of five, I give you flowers. How many people have got four out of five? If you have four out of five, I give you a high five. Just my high five is there. And how many people, those who have three, two, and one? I say fair, you have tried. Then those who have zero, I just say you will improve. Just continue working very hard. You will improve as we go on. It doesn't mean that you should stop because you have a zero. No. After finding why you have a zero, then 
you improve. Our next instruction says, remember we are doing exercises now of what we've so far done. Change the following sentences to affirmative. Change the following sentences to affirmative form. If you don't want to say affirmative, you say positive. If you don't want to say affirmative, you can say positive. What you should first put in mind is that these sentences we are going to make do not have the word not in them. And we don't even end with a question mark. That's why you say it is an affirmative. Number one, Solomon doesn't drive a Mercedes Benz. Solomon doesn't drive a Mercedes Benz. Solomon doesn't drive a Mercedes Benz. Number two. Number two says, we shan't accept such a proposal. Putting in mind that the word shan't in full is shall not. We shan't accept such a proposal. We got our sentence number three which says the students didn't read their books for you are pupils let me not call you students the pupils didn't read their books putting in mind that didn't in full is did not number four This book isn't very interesting. This book is not very interesting. This book is not very interesting. I have number five. Let me check where to write it. We shall put our number five here on top. And it says, the teacher didn't bring our books. The teacher didn't bring our books. We are changing those sentences to affirmative. I'm giving you only three minutes so that we change the sentences to affirmative form. Three minutes. We are changing the sentences to affirmative. Number one is Solomon does not drive a Mercedes Benz. The word Mercedes is supposed to be one word. Solomon does not drive a Mercedes Benz. Number two, we shan't accept such a proposal, putting in mind that the word shan't in full is shall not. Number three, the pupils didn't read their books. The pupils didn't read their books. Our number four is this book is not very interesting. This book 
is not very interesting. And our number five, which is on top here, the teacher didn't bring our books. The teacher didn't bring our books. I hope now you're done. Yeah. You should be done by now. The three minutes are over. We need to learn to write in a speedy way. We need to learn how to write speedily so that we finish up all the given tasks. Our number one, can we find out whether our answers are telling? Solomon doesn't drive. We are going to write this sentence to affirmative form. To write it in affirmative, that means we shall remove the word not. We, sh we are going to remove the word not. There is no way we are going to eliminate the word not and leave in the word does. So the moment we leave in the word, we remove the word does, it will affect the word drive and change it. The word drive will change it to, will be changed to drives and then we remove not. So we shall say, Solomon drives a Mercedes Benz. Solomon drives a Mercedes Benz. Do you have the same sentence? If yes, then you're very good. Our number two. We shall we shan't accept such a proposal. We shan't accept such a proposal. We shall not. Eh, we are writing positive, so we we don't need to put in the word not. We shall accept such a proposal. That is our answer. We shall accept such a proposal. Number three, the pupils didn't read their books. The pupils didn't read their books. Remember we have to remove the word not. This word not is with the word did. So it cannot leave its friend there. Removing D means that we are going to change read to the past simple tense. So it will become red. However, we pronounce it as red, but the spelling remains the same. So we shall say, the pupils read their books. The pupils read there are books. I think we are all there. Calvin, do you have the same answer? Rena, Sanyu, I hope you have, you're having the same answer. The pupils read. When we are writing read, we write it as read. But when pronouncing it in past simple tense, we write it as read. This book is not very interesting. It's just a matter of removing the word it not and it becomes this book is very interesting this book is very interesting then when we go to our number five it says the teacher did bring our books the teacher didn't bring our books. We are going to remove the word didn't. And this word didn't is going to go with its word bring. And then it will become the teacher brought our books. The teacher brought our 
books. So that is all about negative and affirmative. The last instruction says, change the following sentences to interrogative form. Change the following sentences Change the following sentences to interrogative form. Change the following sentences to interrogative form, meaning that those sentences must start with a helping verb and end with a question mark. Your answers, I mean. Number one, they will suffer from cold. They will suffer from cold. That is our number one. Our number two, he can spell the word spectrum. He can spell the word spectrum. Our number three, the children have measles. The children have measles. Our number four, the God feeds its kids on milk. The God feeds its kid on milk. And lastly, our number five. We are going home. No. We are going somewhere. We are going somewhere. So, those are our five numbers. Can we try to answer them? Number one, they will suffer from cold changing them to interrogative form. Meaning, you change the sentence by starting it with a helping verb, find a helping verb in that sentence, and then change it to interrogative form by ending it with a question mark. Sentences that do not have the helping verb, use the modal verb card, I mean do. Then those that already have the modal verb, like those ones that have the modal verb can, you know can is not a helping verb, but it is a modal verb. We are going for a short break, and by the time we come back, we should have answered those questions. Please stay tuned. Welcome back from that short break. I hope we've answered the questions because we have had enough time. Let's see what is our number one. We are changing the sentences to interrogative. They will suffer from cold. Check whether your answer is starting with mine. Our helping verb is will. The subject is they. Suffer from cold. Then we say, will they suffer from cold? Two. He can spell the word spectrum. Our modal verb here is can. He spell the word spectrum. Put a question mark. The word spectrum should be in inverted commas. Three, the children have measles. We don't have a helping verb. But the sentence is in present. Do 
the children have the measles because this verb have is not used as a helping verb here it is used as a main verb so that's why i said the sentence is in present do they have measles for the god feeds its kid on millet feeds we don't have a helping verb but we have feeds we are using the modal verb do so we shall say does the god feed its kid on milk does the god feed its kid on milk and lastly number five we are going somewhere are we going some is not used in interrogative sentence remember some and any some is used in only positive sentences any is used in negative and interrogative so some will become any where are we going anywhere those with five out of five I give you flowers and you also give yourself those with four out of five high five and then those below five I say I mean below four you have tried and then the rest of us who don't have five three two one you continue working hard there is still room for improvement our next is what has brought us today what has brought us today is to talk about the the words far and the word long the word far and the word long we usually use them in sentences but we are going to find out what is the grammatical way the correct grammatical way of using the word far and long. First of all, the word far refers to distance. The word far refers to distance. And the word long refers to time. The word far refers to distance, whereas the word long refers to time so when you're talking about time it will talk us long it will not take us long to finish this work it will not take us long to finish this work you're talking about time two it is not far from mango to kampala it is not far from mango to kampala you're talking about distance it does not take us long. It does not take the children long, long to finish the work. It does not take the children long to finish the work. So what we should know is the word long is used with time and the word far is used with distance. The two words far and long are used in negative and interrogative sentences the two words far and long are used in negative and interrogative sentences only when you write a positive sentence you don't put in the word far when you write the negative sentence you don't put in the word i, I mean you don't put in the word when you write positive you don't put in the word long so first Feel for me this exercise. I find out whether you've understood the difference between time and distance in referring to using far and long. Far goes with distance. Long goes with time. Fill in far or long complete 
these sentences. Our number one says, it is the children may not dash right as I read the children may not dash may not spend dash doing this exam The children may not spend dash doing this exam. Number two, the journey did not take take us dash to cover. The journey did not take us dash to cover up. The journey did not take us dash to cover up. Number three, it isn't or it is not dash to walk up to the theater. It is, it is not dash to walk up to the theater. Number four. Was it dash? Was it dash from Masaka to Mbare? Was it dash from Masaka to Mbale? That is our number four. Our number five says, The thieves The thieves couldn't The thieves couldn't Take dash slaughtering the gods. Number six, you are not dash from the main point. You are not dash from the main point. You are not dash from the main point. So, we are feeling in far or long and our purpose is to find out how can you realize that now we are talking about distance or we are talking about time. Let me see how we have filled it. The children may not spend dash doing these exams. When we are doing exams, we are taking time. We are not moving, but we are taking time. We are in one position. We are static in one position, but at least we are talking of time. So, may not spend long. The children may not spend long doing this exam. We've used long and far, we've said they are used in negative interrogative sentences. Long and far are used in negative and interrogative sentences. Number two, the journey did not take us dash to cover up. The journey did not take us dash to cover up. You can't say did not take us far. Yes, we are moving, but we are talking about time. Did not take us long. 
the journey did not take us long to cover up. It is not dash to walk up to the theater. You can say it is not long. You say it is not far. Was it dash from Masaka to Mbare? I think that is automatic. You can't say was it long. We say was it far. Is the distance from Masaka to Mbari very far? Two, the next five. The thieves could not take Dash slaughtering a goat. They were not moving, but we are talking of time. The thieves could not take long slaughtering a goat. Number six, you are not Dash from the main point. The distance between where you are, what you're talking, and the main point is not all that far. So, if you have five out of five, then you are excellent. Now, what about if we are to change these sentences to positive form? Are we going to maintain the word far? Are we going to maintain the word long? Look at it. We are saying far, the word far and long are used in negative and interrogative sentences. They are used in negative and interrogative sentences. When it comes to positive, when it comes to what we call positive, or affirmative sentences. The word far is going to change to a long way. The word far is going to change to a long way. And the word long is going to change to a long time. When it comes to positive sentences, instead of using the word far, because we say, it is not far from Masaka to Mbari. It is not far from Masaka to Mbari. If you are to write it in the positive, then you say, it is not a long, it is a long way. It is a long way from Masaka to Mbari. Is it far from Masaka to Mbari? When it comes to a long way, and they said write using a long way, that means you have to change the sentence to positive form or to affirmative. You say it is a long way from Masaka to Mbari. Let's look at these examples. Let's look at these examples. Did the gardener take long digging did the gardener take long digging the garden this is an interrogative sentence we are using the word long. So, if they say rewrite it in affirmative, or rewrite the sentence using a long time, if they say rewrite the sentence using a long time, it is the same way as rewrite the sentence in affirmative. So that means that you're going to, to remove the word did and change the word take to to. We are changing the word take to took. And our affirmative sentence must begin with the subject. Our subject is the gardener. The gardener took a long time. Digging the garden. 
the gardener took a long time digging the garden. Our first sentence was interrogative. It used the word long. For us to change to interlog to put to affirmative, we need to change the word long to a long time. Because long is used in negative and interrogative sentences. Then a long, a long time is used in positive and in positive only, in positive or what we call affirmative sentences. Question number two says, example number two, not question, example number two says, is it far from Kumi to Tololo? Is it far from Kumi to Tololo? Is it far from Kumi to Tololo? Therefore, we shall say it is a long way because far in positive changes to a long way. It is a long way from Kumi to Tororo. With those few examples, I think we have understood that the word far and long are used in negative and interrogative sentences. When it comes to positive or what we call affirmative sentence, the word far changes to a long way. And the word long changes to a long time. Uh, number three. We hadn't gone very far. before we discovered what we wanted. We hadn't gone very far before we discovered what we wanted. We are using very far. We are using the word far because we have, we hadn't. So when we write, we had, we had gone, we can't say very far because we've removed the word not. So we shall say, we had gone a long way before we discovered what? We wanted. We had gone a long way before we discovered what we wanted. We had gone a long way before we discovered what we wanted. Our last example says, our last example says, that the slaves the slaves hadn't spent hadn't spent long slashing the compound. The slaves hadn't spent long slashing the compound. Write it in positive form. So we shall say, the slaves had, we are removing the word, not spent. Since we are writing it in positive, this long is going to change to a long time. A long time slashing 
the compound. The slaves have spent a long time slashing the compound. Just continue bearing it in mind that the word far is used in negative sentences. And the word long is also used in negative sentences. Then the word far changes to a long way in positive or affirmative. And the word long changes to a long time in negative sentences. A simple exercise. Change these sentences change these sentences to affirmative form. Change these sentences to affirmative. Number one, my home is not far from school. Number two, Kavare is not far from here. Number three, it doesn't take long to catch you. Number four. Does it take long from Lila to Chitugum? No. Yes. Does it take long from Lila to Alua? Number five. Is it far from Bali to Soloti? Is it far from Bali to Soloti? And then number six. Number six, it doesn't take long to prepare a cake or to bake a cake. It doesn't take long to bake a cake. So those are some of the numbers that they want us to try, putting in mind that when changing from negative to positive, there is the word far changes to a long way, and the word long changes to a long time. We shall go for a short break, and then by the time we come back, we should have finished that exercise. Welcome back from that short break. I hope you're still putting the SOPs in action to prevent corona because it is real. So change these sentences to affirmative. We are going to find out, have you written the right answers? My home is not far from school. What we should put in mind is we are going to eliminate the word 
not and then the word not when we remove it that means we shall also remove the word far and the word far will change to a long way so we shall say my home is a long way from school my home is a long way from school if they had said we write the sentence using far and they say my home is a long way from school then that means you have to put in the word not my home is far from school number two says Number two says, Kabale is not far from here. We are removing the word not and we are saying Kabale is a long way. The words a long way are three separate words from here. Kabale is a long way from here. Kabale is a long way from here. That is our answer number two. Answer number three. It does not take long to catch you. It does not take long to catch you. So we shall say, it, this does not is going to go with it's not. And then they will change the next verb. It will become takes. It takes a long time to catch you. It takes a long time to catch you. Where have we got the word takes? We've removed the word not. And the word not has gone with the word does. To show that does was there, it changes the word take to takes. And then a long, a long changes to a long time. Our number four says it is an interrogative sentence. Does it take long from Lila to Alua? Does it not take long from Lila to Alua? It takes a long time from Lila to Alua. It takes a long time from Lila to Alua. Number five says, Is it far from Bar to Soloti? Is it far? Remember, we said far is used with negative and interrogative sentences. Then a long way is only used with positive sentences. Is it far from Bar to Soloti? Then we say, it is a long way from Bar to Soloti. End with a full stop. It is a long way from Bale to Soloti. Then our number five says, number six, it doesn't take long to bake a cake. It doesn't take long to bake a cake. So we shall say it takes a long time to bake a cake. It 
takes a long time to bake a cake. So, our next instruction, but before we go to the next instruction, have you got the six numbers correct? If you have six out of six, I say flowers. For you, beautiful red and yellow, white flowers. Then if you have five out of six, what should I give you? A high five. Even that of four, a high five. But that one of three, two, one. I say, fair, you have tried, I give you a smile. Then that one of zero, I say, continue working hard. Continue. I will explain for you later on after calling me on my number, which is 077-374-1370. Then, our next instruction says, Change the following affirmative sentences. Change the following affirmative sentences. Affirmative. Sentences to a negative and then B interrogative, meaning that your answer should have your, each number should have two answers. Change the following sentences A to negative. And then B to interrogative. Number one. Our house is a long way from yours. Our house is a long way from yours. Our house is a long way from yours. Answer number A should be negative, and answer number B should be interrogative. Two, it is a long way from Pakwachi to Guru. It is a long way from Pakwachi to Guru. It's, it is a long way from Pakwachi. You spent a long time reading that story. You spent a long time reading that story. Then our uh, number four says, number four says, you Our teacher took takes our teacher takes a long time teaching a topic. Our teacher takes a long time teaching a topic. Let's answer the questions together. But you first try your own. 
our house is a long way from yours. Put the sentence in A, negative, B, interrogative. Two, it is a long way from Pakwachi to Gul. It is a long way from Pakwachi to Gul. Put the sentence A in negative, B in interrogative. Number three, you spent a long time reading the story. You spent a long time reading the story. Put A negative, B interrogative. And lastly, our uh, number four, our teacher takes a long time teaching a topic. Our teacher takes a long time teaching a topic. I think we have finished. I hope we have finished. Let's answer our number one together. I'm going to put answer for number one on top here. Our house is a long way from our home. Answer number eight, the negative. Just a matter of adding in the word not. Our house is not. Remember the word a long way is not used in negative sentences. In negative, it changes to far from yours. Our house is not far from yours. Our house is not far from yours. Then the B part of it, we are writing an interrogative sentence. Remember we said interrogative sentences start with a helping verb. So we shall say, is our house far from yours? Is our house far from yours? It ends with a question mark. That is an interrogative sentence. We go to number two. Answers for number two. Say, it is a long way from Pakwachi to Guru. <coughs> number two, negative. Just a matter of putting in the word not. It is not. When you say no, then a long way will change to far from Pakwachi to Guru. It is not far from Pakwachi to Guru. And then the interrogative we we'll begin with the helping verb, which is, is. Is it far from Pakwachi to Guru? Then we put a question mark. Is it far from Pakwachi to Guru? We go to number three. Our number three says, you spent a long time reading that story. We need to add in the word not. But before we add in the word not, we must analyze where is the helping verb. Because the word not comes after the helping verb. We don't have. So we shall make a model verb following the tense in which this sentence is in. The tense is the past simple. So we shall say, you did not spend. The moment we write this past simple, then this one comes to normal. We did not spend long reading 
that story. We did not spend long reading that story. So the interrogative part of it is the interrogative part of it is already we have the helping verb so we shall say did we did you spend long reading that story did you spend long reading that story then our number five says our teacher takes a long time teaching a topic our teacher takes a long time teaching a topic the same sentence doesn't have a helping verb so we shall use the model verb do we shall say our teacher this is takes so we shall use does take long teaching a topic does our teacher take long teaching a topic so if you have eight out of eight because those answers were eight we need to be having either eight out of eight that one you're excellent flowers for you, sweet cake, everything, the, all the good things for you. If you have seven, six, five, I still give you flowers. But if you have less than five, four, three, two, one, I say you've tried. Then if you have zero, I say continue working hard, we shall be there. How does it come in an exam? Because in an exam, you don't expect the instruction. Say, you write using, you write in affirmative. Examination part of it. The instruction always says, rewrite as instructed. in brackets write as instructed in brackets number one Kampala is a long way from Jinja Kampala is a long way from Jinja. You write using Fa. Now people who have not yet realized that Fa is used in negative, we just say Kampala is far from Jinja. Whoa, you will fail that now. You have to put in the word not in order for you to use the word Fa. Our number two. My mother takes a long no. My mother does not take long cooking. My mother does not take long cooking. Rewrite in. No. Rewrite beginning. No. Write using alone. Don't expect that they will add on a long time. No. They will just say alone. Then for you who have not studied, you will say, My mother takes does not take a long cooking. 
and it will be wrong. Our number three. It doesn't. It it takes. Long, it's a long time. It takes a long time. Rain. It takes a long time. Rain. Begin. Does. Begin. Does. And then number four. Our teacher came late today. Now this is P5. P4. Our teacher came late today. Right in negative form. Write in negative form. Number five. Our number five says, My sister, my sister's home is not far from Mbari. My sister's home is not far from Mbari. Write in affirmative form. Write in affirmative form. So you're going to answer those questions and then you send your answers on my WhatsApp number, which is 0773-74-1370. is my WhatsApp number. Please make sure that you send those answers and where you have not understood, ask for more clarification. Otherwise, for now, I wish you a very nice day. And before I end, I would like to thank the sponsors of the program. We should thank them, all of us. That is the Ntake group of companies. We thank them so much for putting in all the efforts and see that we are learning from home. Two, I would like to thank you students who are very active in these lessons. I tell you, you're not going to regret. And then lastly, I would like to thank the producers of the program. Thank you so much for always being there for us. I wish you a nice week. Have a blessed day. And may God keep you safe till we meet again.